Okay, in this video, I would like to talk about the LifeWell aerator timer. The timer is connected to the pump, something like this, a 12 volt uh, pump. The pump allows to put the fresh water into the fish uh, well uh, and would cycle on and off. Uh, the timer is really small waterproof circuit like this with a couple wires, easy to connect. Now, advantages of the timer is uh, you can set it up for the operation on and off cycle. You can set your time between 10 uh, seconds and uh, 30 minutes. So your on time could be again from 10 seconds to 30 minutes. Your off time could be from 10 seconds to 30 minutes. The default time that's set uh, in the timer is 30 seconds uh, on and three minutes off and you can use it. It's, uh, uh, but uh, you can also change that. Another excellent feature of this timer is the ability to change the duty cycle to the pump. So when the pump runs uh, the first 10 seconds, it always runs at 100% duty cycle. So basically you can, uh, uh, it primes the uh, pump and make sure the water circulates uh, correctly. Then if you want, you can drop the duty cycle to the pump to the lower percent and allow pump to run at a slower speed, consume less uh, power and not really move the water that fast. Um, okay, so let me show you how it's done, how it's connected. Connection is very simple. There is two diagrams. Basically, the first one is very simple. Uh, red and orange wire are connected, uh, supplies power to the timer. Black is the ground. Yellow is the output goes to the pump and two configuration wires are the white and the green. The second, the second configuration is we can use the uh, three position uh, switch and that way you can either run the, basically shut the timer off, uh, set it to run through the cycle, meaning supply the power to the timer, and then it will supply the power to the pump, or you can bypass the timer and supply the power directly to the pump to continuously run it if you want to. Uh, so let's see how you can configure it or how you can uh, connect it and how you can change the timing. It's actually very simple. So what I have here is that I have just nine volt battery just for testing. So I'm just gonna show you how we're gonna connect it. So, and I also have our optional configuration buttons. Uh, you can use them. Uh, again, if you're gonna uh, always want to be able to change configurations on the boat then you need something waterproof and not those buttons those buttons are good for the uh, uh, you know, not uh, wet environment or on the bench testing or setup but I'm just gonna use it for this uh, testing to make it uh, simple so uh, power connects to the red and orange uh, ground connects to the black wire we're also connecting uh, ground to the pump. So it's always connected to the pump. The output yellow from the timer goes to the pump. So we, we set this up. Now we need to connect the, our uh, configuration buttons. Uh, ground is black, goes to the spliced with the ground and then white to white, green to green. And those buttons, what they do, they just short those wires to the ground. So you can actually just short the wires to the ground to set the timer up. Okay, so here's a basic setup. Again, it's right in this, uh, this is, I'm using the first uh, diagram here. So this is how it's set up. So let's turn it on. Uh, by default, it's set to 30 seconds on and uh, three minutes off. I believe I already changed it to 10 second on, 10 second off. So if we turn it on, you should uh, hear the pump running. And it's gonna run for 10 seconds and it's gonna shut off for another 10 seconds. And so it's now shut off. Uh, okay, so the pump is going to run 10 second on and 10 seconds off and continue to cycle. So now let's take a look, uh, what do we need to do to change the settings? Uh, in the manual, you'll find a couple of steps. They're pretty simple, but let me uh, show you how it's done. So I have the buttons connected to the white and green wires, and basically we connected them to the ground. So you can use the wires or buttons or connect some other buttons to it. So I'm going to push the button one and two. Oh, it was on. 
So basically I'm uh, turning power off, I'm going to push the button one and two, uh, and ultimately I'm connecting the those uh, green and white wires to the ground. I'm gonna turn the power on, the pump is gonna turn on, I'm going to release the buttons, and it's gonna to shut off after three seconds. So now by pushing the button one, which is green wire, I'm sorry, white wire connecting to the ground, we're going to add 10 seconds. If we push it one more time, we uh, wait it another 10 seconds, so it's 20 seconds. Push the second wire, second button, the green wire is uh, the off period. So the first one was on period and second one off period. Push it once, 10 seconds. So if you want a minute, you'll push it six times. And technically, you can just turn the power off and uh, turn it back on, and the pump is going to run for uh, 20 seconds on and 10 seconds off. So that's uh, that. Now, uh, the timer has a good feature which allows you to change the uh, duty cycle. Again, uh, you can run the... Uh, initially, it will always run at 100% for 10 seconds, but then the rest of the time, it will run at lower percentage if you want to. You can keep it at 100, but if you want to change it, um, you can change it to a lower percentage. Uh, let's say you want to run it at 50% duty cycle, so it's a, a half speed, and depends on your pump, you might run it, you want to, you probably want to run it maybe at slower speeds. If you have a small well and big pump, then there's no point running it 100%. Uh, so to change that, we have to go through the same steps. So we're going to push the button, one and two, turn the power on, release the buttons. Uh, if we need to change the timing, we can do it now. We don't have to, we can s jump to the next configuration, but let's say we push the button two times to set it to 20 seconds. On, push the second buttons to set it 10 seconds off. Now to go to the next mode where we can change the uh, duty cycle is we're going to push two buttons at the same time the pump is going to run for three seconds turn off and then turn back on at 100 percent and here's by pushing the button number one is going to lower step by step lowering that uh, duty cycle and you basically need to uh, stop when you want to stop it so you hear the pump uh, run now if i push the button it's going to change the sound it slows it down So let's say we want to run at a slower speed like this. We just turn the power off. And now we're turning the power back on. The first 10 seconds it runs at full speed to prime the pump and make sure that uh, the water flows correctly and there's no air in the system. And then it's gonna switch to the lower speeds, in our case, just for 10 seconds. Again, your durations could be changed uh, to whatever you need. And then it's going to shut off for 10 seconds and repeat the cycle. Uh, so that is it. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, again, if you connect a three-way switch here or three-position switch, uh, you can make it uh, continuously run on if you need it, turn it off or run in a specific cycle. So here it is. Uh, very simple, very easy to connect. Supports 10 amp, which is plenty for the small pumps like this. It says fuse 2.5 amp, uh, runs 1.8 amps at 13 volts so we'll be planning to run even bigger pumps all right thank you so much